Babies who share bed with parents five times more likely to die of SIDS vertical bracket Fox News. Fox News Digital Network. Fox News. Fox Business. You report. Fox News Radio. Fox News Latino. Fox Nation. Fox News Insider. Login. Account. You're logged in as. Profile. Log out. Search site. Listen to Fox News Radio Live. In air now. In air personalities. Home. Video. Politics. U.S. Opinion. Entertainment. Tech. Science. Health. Travel. Lifestyle. World. Sports. In air. Previous slide next slide. Men's health. Women's health. Children's health. Alternative medicine. Diabetes. Heart health. Allergies. Nutrition fitness. Babies who share bed with parents five times more likely to die of SIDS. Published May 21st. 2013. News.com.do. Babies sharing beds with their parents face a five-fold risk of dying of cop death, even if their parents are not smokers, new research shows. The increased risk of death extends to babies previously thought to be at low risk, because they are braced and the mother has not taken alcohol or drugs, according to a study published in the British Medical Journal Open. The findings come after 1,472 sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, cases and 4,679 control cases from Australasia, the UK and Europe were analyzed in the largest ever study of cop death. The SIDS rate would plummet if parents avoided bed sharing and public healthy messages were more forceful about the dangers for babies under three months, the authors, led by Professor Robert Carpenter, said. 88% of the deaths that occurred, while bed sharing would probably not have occurred had the baby been placed on its back in a cot by the parent's bed, the authors concluded. The risk of SIDS, while bed sharing decreased, as the baby gets older. Bed sharing has increased markedly over the last decade, the study found. Parents who endorse the practice are active on the internet and Facebook. Murdoch University associate professor Catherine Pfefferson said research shows between 30 and 50 percent of parents share a bed with their babies at some time. She believes a blanket message against bed sharing is driving parents underground. They are continuing to do it, even though people are being warned against it and so what is happening is they are shutting down all communication with health professionals, she said. Click for more from news.com. Print. Email. Share. Comments. Recommend. Tweet. Share this article. View article. Please enable JavaScript to view the comments powered by Discourse. You must log in to comment. View article. Advertisement. Top health centers. Back pain. Beauty skin. Cancer. Cold and flu. Depression. Digestive health, heart disease, nutrition, pain management, pregnancy, sexual health. View all health centers. Follow Fox News Health. Get our free newsletter. Newsletter Signup. Trending in health. 1. Five biggest mistakes people make with food and exercise. 2. The DSM-5 is here. What the controversial new changes mean for mental health care. 3. Five reasons the government is not prepared to handle Obamacare. 4. Babies who share bed with parents five times more likely to die of SIDS. 5. Money saving tips to stretch the shelf life of your food. See all trends. Advertisement. Also on the web. What women think about getting picked up at the gym. David Beckham's career. Paralympic ski champ makes 2,000 foot climb. Rich Froning interview. David Beckham retires. The top fat burning foods. 12 secrets to better orgasms. Anxious. What's normal, what's not. 30 foods under 40 calories. The best and worst burgers. 6 full of joy stretching exercises. How to drink wisely. 15 ways to stress less. 6 quick ball slide exercises. 4 ways to boost your breakfast sufficiently. Healthy Habits Hero, Sam Cass. Today 